Hi y'all, today we are going to blend not one, not two, but three photos in one design. Are you ready? Let's head over to Canva and make some magic happen. So the first thing we're going to need, of course, is some photos to work with. So I'm going to head over to my elements. I want to do a wedding theme. So what I want to do is grab three photos that I want to use. Uh, let's see. I want to use this one. Let's see this one and this one here. Okay. So now I have my three photos that I want to use for this. So this is going to be my primary center photo. So I'm going to do a little something different than I am with the other two. So what I want to do is head over to my apps and I want to get an app called easy reflections. It's a tennis shoe on here. So if you see the little tennis shoe, that's the one you want. So what I'm going to do is I click on the photo that I want to do first, which is the couple. I want to go left. I want to take my opacity all the way up and my offset is going to be 50%. So I'm going to add that to the design. And what I do is I keep an extra page. So what I do is I'm going to take the original photo off because if you've used easy reflections before, you know that it keeps the original photo because you're making a reflection of it. And I keep it there until I finish the design, just in case I want to do something different with the photo. If I didn't like the way I did it, I can, I always have the photo right there to start back from. So now that I have that, what I want to do with this photo here is make sure I'm clicked out of it. I want to hit go back. I want to click on it again, go and create reflection. And what I want to do is get a reflection on the other side. So see how it's, it's, blurred on both sides now. Turn that opacity all the way up. Make sure the offset is still at 50%. Add to the design. So this is my centerpiece. I've got it faded on both sides. So now I'm going to take my little extra one and put it in my little extra pocket over here. And then I'll just move this in the corner and put it wherever I need it to go. And then I'll work on my next two. So I'm going to go, go back so I want the focus in my thing to be her shoes. Oh, maybe the bouquet. No, her shoes. So I'm going to go left or right, depending on what I want to focus on. Do I want to focus on the shoes? Do I want to focus on the bouquet? Whatever one. So I want to focus on the shoes. So I am going to put left. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way. It always starts off at 50%. So just leave that at 50 and go to the bottom and do there. I'm going to add that to the design and then I'm going to move my solid one all the way to my extras page. And then what I want to do is go here. I'm going to look and see where I want it to focus on. I want it to focus kind of on the rings, which is centered. So we'll go, go back, easy reflection, left, opacity, turn your opacity up. It'll tell, it'll help you know what side is. So I want this side to be, uh, is that the side with the pearls? I want the pearls. So I want to go right on that one because I want the right, I want the pearls to be the focus with the rings. So I'm going to add that to the design and then I'm going to take my full one. I have not done this picture. This is a new picture. So this is live action. I haven't pre-tested this or anything like this. So I want these this way and I'm going to expand the like that. I'm going to put them in the center and take them and make them the whole shebang and center them up. And then I'm going to bring this one out and then I'm going to go and change positions. So I'm going to go in a position and I'm going to bring them to the front to make them the focus. So now, You see the couple and they're the focus and then you can see the rings and you can see the shoes and you can just see that layered effect through there. And like this one right here with the rings, let me see if I'm grabbing at the right one, I can pull that out more if I need to. So if you want to focus on the rings a little bit more, I can pull that out. And same thing with the shoes. If I want to focus a little bit more, I can pull that out. And you can just adjust it that way. And that's how you do one of those. 
And then we'll go and I'll show you how to do a stacking one. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a page here. I'm going to go back into my elements and we're going to do a stacked one like the people one. So I'm going to grab this picture, this picture, and this picture. So there's a couple ways you can do the stacking one. So we're going to do it top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom that way. So I'm going to go back into my apps, grab my tennis shoe, create a reflection. So I want above and below. So I'm going to go and turn her up all the way, add to the design, put her in my extra bin over here, go back. Then I want to go back here, go back here. Come on, Mr. Reflection. Go back in here. And then I want the opacity all the way up. It's showing the top right here. And then I'm going to add that to the design. And then I have this one with the top and the bottom. I'm going to add that to the extra. Then we're going to do her. We're going to go back. We're going to create a reflection. That's still set in there for the top. So we'll just go ahead and add that to the design. Go put her here. Go back over here. Go back. Come on. Oh, goofball, I gotta click it. And then it's hitting the, the above there. Check your opacity, add it to the design. And then I'm gonna take this one and go here. And then we're gonna grab her. Go back, so it'll grab her. Above opacity, add. Go back here. Go back over her. We're going to go and do above, since it didn't do that way, and make sure that opacity. Hey, hold on. Go back. Let's grab her again. I think it's because she's light. Her, um, the thing. No, I don't want. I need below. I need below. No, oh, I need a. Here we go. We need this one. There we go. Add to the design. I'll get it straight, y'all, I promise. Here we go. All right, so now, see, these are a little bit, like, faded looking. So a word of advice if you're going to do that, the black background is going to be your friend. So it kind of, these right here look sleeker. So what I'm going to do is start lining these up. I'm going to bring her in to match the sides of the other ones, like so. Then I'm going to bring in this last one. Let me do this and make it a little bit smaller. And then what you want to do is go into your positions tab. And what you want to do is she'll be on the bottom and you're going to stack them in order. So bottom, middle, top. And then you can just move them up and down to where you want them going into each other like so. And that's a stackable one, like so. And the other thing you can do too, if you want a hard top and a hard bottom, so I'm going to grab the other girl. I'm going to grab, let's see, who's got a hard, no, we all got bottoms. All right, so she's got a bottom. Let's look at her. So if I turn her you can do something like that if you want to grab that and have a hard bottom. We'll just make her smaller to match up. And then you can have the fade in between. And then we'll just grab her real quick. Go back. Add the reflection. We want it above, which is really below. And we'll add that to the design real quick. And just bring her over like so. And then you can just do... where she's faded into that. And then I would move the bottom one on top and then she's fading into that picture. If you want to do like two people fading in, that's something you can do.
And you can do all kinds of things. You can do size to size. Like in the original one, um, there was three of them side by side. And that's how you kind of do this technique where you do the fade on both sides. For this, you can do it the same way. So it's just doing the sides on this. And these are doing the tops and bottom. And you can go crazy too. So if you really want to, let's grab her real quick. And we'll go back. And we'll do left opacity, add to design. And then if you want to do like a crazy fade, like that's a cool little trick there. So now you got it on all three sides. And if you want a halo, I would just uh, go back and... Click it out, click it, add the reflection, and then what do you do? Right, left, opacity, add to design. And then she's almost like if you're doing something that kind of you want to look like ghosty or kind of like over top, it's something you can do with a little fade, fade it in the background, kind of like movie poster ish. So just get in there with easy reflections. I mean, I found it to be like a very useful tool way beyond just making a reflection. So that's my tip trick to do multiple, 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 multiple photos and blend them together. Like you could do um, this and then go on the side and kind of add her to the side and start going sideways too and blending them over top of each other or kind of have her look like she's Kind of back behind that one. Oh, that would kind of that might be cool. Hold on. See, I'm I see I'm experimenting with y'all right now. So, like, take this. Let's move these on out the way. Move on out the way. And then, let's see, position. Is she on top. Which one is she? She's this one. So, like, put her on top like that. Oop, come on. Put her on top like that. And then maybe I would do, let's see, go back. See now, y'all got me live action in here. Left, left, right. Oh, there we go. That's the side I want. No. I need her backside. Right. Opacity. Add to the design. All right. She's a little odd because she's got extra right here, so you... Sometimes you got to go in a little deeper with that, but you could kind of like have her go like that. And then which one is that red one? That one up here. That almost looks like um some soap opera thing right there. Just my opinion. But you can do all kinds of stuff, so... You, Hey, there's, there's the ghost of somebody. You're doing a romance novel about a ghost or something, and there's the ghost of the girl in the back. I don't know. Just just brainstorming as we, as we work. So that's my tutorial on that. Thanks for y'all watching me experiment. And like I said, I'm still experimenting. I've gone down the rabbit hole. So thank you, guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Bye, y'all.